Yes, indeed. I'm just still listening. I'm just having my head Wayne Dawson freestyling. <laughs> yeah, that's that was true. good. <laughs> that was we'll embarrassing. We'll replay that first stop. <laughs> no, no, please don't. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> yes. And just for the record, uh, Sissy and Christy, yes. there are a very high number of women rappers who are recognized of course, here. So that's you guys awesome. should feel free to freestyle too. I'm All not right, gonna put we'll you on the spot, but I'm just saying okay. you can feel free to freestyle All too, right. but not now. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Okay. That's another show. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but the show we are now, um, holla if you hear me, 50 years of hip hop, which is amazing, right here at the Rock Hall, just opened. They had a tremendous opening night. Some of the biggest stars in hip hop over the years were here. And then, Joe, we're going across this wall, and you, me, my engineer, Bob, my, my photographer, my, all of us are going through different influences in hip hop we've had. Yeah, uh, this area here that we're talking about is uh, alternative hip hop, so yep. some of the socially conscious artists. We talk about, you know, we, we were talking about De La Soul a little bit ago. Right. Then uh, Yo-Yo, we were mentioning with the jacket mm -hmm. over there. Uh, you know, getting One of your favorites when you were growing up, Buster yes. Rhymes. I used to love the fisheye lens that he would shoot <laughs> right. with the big oversized outfits. I just, I was a big Buster Rhymes fan, so it's, it was really awesome to get to include this here. Now, we got a big fan of you. Yeah. You're Outcast. a big fan here. I'm yes. a huge Outkast fan because there were two different genres of hip hop. They came together to create um, sounds and music and everything that no one even really, I mean, you look at them, you see how opposite they are, you know, and so yeah. they did a great job. Almost everybody knows a Outkast song, but we're in, we're in 216, but first of all, the ed miseducation of Lauryn Hill changed the game and the face of hip hop, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, that album is a seminal album within the, within the entire trajectory of rock, of rock and roll and, and hip hop, and uh, certainly we were talking. Yeah. Feel free to bust into the, in the song, you know, <laughs> the lady artist in, in the exhibit. Um, certainly Lauryn Hill needed to be uh, someone who's representative we're talking about. And then over here, some Cleveland influences in hip hop over the years, and there are a few. Certainly. Okay. I mean, I think the one that all comes to mind, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so we've got some, some of their effects on the exhibit. And then, of course, uh, we were talking Uchi Kuchi <laughs> and um, MC <laughs> Brains. Yeah. You had an encounter with him uh, semi-recent here. Yeah, and, uh, very nice guy. I met him. I uh, met him out. He was very, very cool. Look at that. And then on the opposite side here, we have some more uh, in Cleveland influences, don't we? Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, you know. Uh, MGK has has sort of taken a bit of a, a diversion away from the uh, away from hip hop, mm -hmm. but at the same time, uh, he uh, has songs that are out. We've got uh, Kid Cudi as well. I'm, I'm, people are probably aware yeah, that he's yeah. from the area, yes. and so we wanted to make sure that th those artists were included if we were going to talk about hip hop in Cleveland. Well, you got to do it, man. Got to do it. That is so cool. Um, the exhibit goes through the end of the year. Yes. Uh, most definitely. People should definitely come and check it out. I mean, again, we're just scratching the surface, tip of the iceberg, but there's so much education here. It's so great. Well done, Joe. Well done, sir. Thank you. Well done. Thank it you. was great going down memory lane. <laughs> okay, two turntables and a microphone right there. You can see if you have skills. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I tried in college. Guess what? Didn't work. <laughs> but I will say this as we go back to you guys in the studio. I did buy this Panasonic <laughs> jam box back in the day. I bought it at Sears. <laughs> I can't remember how much it was. Sears. But I actually had this jam box, wow. you guys. This cassette. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. <laughs>